I'm gonna not play music so um, that you guys can hear my cues, but if you want to go ahead and have your phone handy and play whatever soundtrack or music you wanna play, go ahead and do that. I just wanna make sure you guys can hear me okay. So I'll keep it silent, um, but feel free to play music at home. Total body exercise um, class, but of course we are focused on our powerhouse, which is our, those deep internal core muscles. So that's the focus in Pilates. Um, we use a Pilates style breath. So you're gonna force the air out of the mouth and kind of zip up the ribs and draw the belly towards the spine. So every time you exhale, it's that powerful activation of the core muscles, that feeling of when you're laughing or coughing. Keep that in mind um, and you'll really get a deeper workout, more efficient workout. Um, the other thing is we're gonna add our own or create our own resistance. So really keep the muscles active throughout all the exercises rather than just kind of getting sloppy. Um, and I'll remind you through the whole class, but since we don't have equipment, it's up to you to really activate the deltoids, the triceps, really stay strong through the whole body so we can get these long lean muscles and strong core. Are you guys ready? And second position. So first let's roll the shoulders a few times. Where we have any tension in the shoulders and neck, let's just kind of soften that out, roll back, roll forward, take some deep breaths here. We're letting go of any stress in the body. Drop your ear over and just let it fold. Fall forward, other side, let it fall. And then come up through standing. So we're gonna have this gentle tuck of the tail, ribs drawn in. Inhale, stretch to the sky. Let's grab our opposite elbow here and then just take a gentle heart stretch to the sky and then round the spine, pull the arms forward, kind of hollow through the front body. And then inhale, chest proudly points up to sky. Exhale, draw the belly, a little cat back. One more time, inhale and exhale. Then come, open the arms, nice. We're just gonna take it down into a plie and then lift the arms. So plie, the knees open wide. Again, the belly is drawn in and the tailbone slightly tucked under. So inhale and exhale again. Inhale up, exhale down. Let's do four. Start to include the breath. Three, here's your two, and one. This time we're gonna come up on releve. So if you need to slightly move the heels towards one another, that's okay. So Tiptoe, see if you can balance, and then we'll plie. Tiptoe, and drop. Lift onto releve, exhale to plie. Good, for four, and drop, and three, and melt. Here's your two, strong body, strong core, and here's your one. Stay down, pull the arms in front. Pop up one heel and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one, let's switch. Pop the other heel up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both heels down, arms out. Can we pop up both heels at the same time? Right away, those legs might just shake, might start shaking. That's okay, see if you can fight through it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, high heels, and drop, stay low. Circle the arms backwards for eight, seven, six, five, four. Stay deep in your plie and then reverse this circle. My heart is already up there. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Can we push these imaginary walls to the side? Add a pulse. Eight, seven, six, five. Active arms like you're pressing through water. Here's two. Here's one, arms up, pop one heel, and the other heel. Inhale, exhale, we got this, four more. How are those legs? We get to lay down a lot, so this will be the hard part on the legs for now. Hold it, and then bring those arms down. Momentum to jump in. Take a forward fold stretch. Shake the head heavy. Take some nice deep breaths, calm that heart rate. Allow the hamstrings to lengthen, lift the tailbone, and now allow the spine and neck to drain. And then ragdoll up. Three, two, one. This time we're gonna take a first position, and I want you to think of those inner thighs as really being like suctioned in, and the tailbone kind of squeezing down. All right, so really active in your, in your first position. Releve, plie, up, 
really strong legs. See if you can make a diamond shape with those knees. Here's four. Heels touch. Three. Heels touch. Here's two. Heels touch. Stay up. Walk the feet closer together. Have your heels touching and pulse it right here for four, three, and two, and one. Pull those arms in front, and then we're going to take these little oblique hip tilts for eight, seven high heels. You got this. If you fall out, no big deal. Here's two. Here's one. Hold it. Can we take it down? Grand plie. And lift up, falling, and shake out those legs. Awesome job. You can give them a little pop. All right, we're gonna come to the back of the mat and start to roll down the spine. So take the chin, tuck it, and then use the core to round down the body. Take a moment here to press the palms down and maybe even flip them upside down. So bend the knees if you need to, to touch the ground. Fingertips, palms, flip. Fingertips, palms, flip. All right, so we're gonna bear some weight into the hands and we're gonna start to walk forward into plank. Spread your fingers wide, index finger forward, wrap the triceps, crease of the elbow forward, push the shoulders down. Again, this gentle tuck of the tail, pull the belly button in, and then we'll just simply walk back. You can flip the palms upside down for a quick counter stretch, head can hang, and then we'll roll up, rag doll, stacking the vertebrae. Let's come up onto releve, and then we'll take a squat. So think chair pose balance. Highest heels, lengthen through the crown of the head, squeeze the belly, pulse it here. Eight, seven, six, it's okay to shake, it's okay to fall out. Active arms, three, two, one, lower, drop. Walk it out to your plank. Let's take the knees down and just take some knees, chest, chins to wake up the triceps and the shoulders, upper body. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten, high plank. Take your walk back in. Rag it all up, circle out the wrists here. Inhale to sky, exhale, sit into your chair. Tippy toe chair. Arms can be up or in front of you to make it a little easier. We're gonna pulse again. Squeeze the belly in. See if you can do this gentle tuck of the tail. I know it's hard. We got this for four, three, two, one. Drop, melt. Walk it out to your push-up position. Tuck the tailbone. If you're up for full Pilates style push-ups, take the gaze forward, bring the elbows to heart center. We'll do one, and then we'll add on. Circle the wrists. Up on releve. Balance. Exhale. Crawl it out. So we're gonna add a push-up, and you can do these on the knees. Pilates or yoga style. So this one's two. Two. Zip up the belly, push the shoulders down. Walk it back. Circle the wrists on the way up. Rag doll. Pop up. Inhale. Maybe balance here for a moment. <sighs> Tuck the chin. Round down the spine. What are we on? Three. Walk it out. Spread your fingers. Tuck the tailbone. You can do this on the knees. Feel free to modify. Three. <sighs> Two. <sighs> One. Walk back in. Circle out the wrist, ragdoll yourself up, stack the vertebrae with a rounded spine, and then lift. Ooh, find your balance. <sighs> Press it down. All right, from here, I'm gonna take a quick little lunge series, and then we'll take it down to the mat. So, lifting up, can we point the right toe, and then sweep the leg, hold. Take a moment here, feel your quad, your hip flexor, your core, plug that navel in. Step halfway, find your balancing stick. Good, balancing stick, knees meet, extend. Knees touch, extend, one more time, knees touch, and then tap it back, four, three, 
three, strong triceps, strong arms, chest and gaze forward. One, now step it to a lunge. 90 degree knees, sweep those arms up. Good, breathe here, little pulse, pulse, pulse. All right, so here's your challenge. We're gonna pull up the front heel as well. Oh yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, easy, right? One, bring the heel down, stretch it back. Take a little hamstring stretch. Send the heart and gaze forward. Bend the knee if you need to, and then see if we can work it straight. Left hip forward, right hip back. Take some nice breaths. From here, let's just step back. Rag the up for the other side. Zip up. Nice, perfect posture here. Point the left toes. Stretch the arms up. All right, so we're gonna shoot this leg forward. Squeeze, see if you can hold it there. Maybe hip height, quad, hip flexor. Zip up the belly. Step halfway forward. Charge. Balance. Hips are square, shoulders are square. Knees meet. Extend. Knees meet like a little single leg squat. Hug the heel in. Hamstring curl. Whoop, stretch it out. Hug it in. Stretch it out. Good. Tap the toe. Tap it in. Four, three, two, one. Hold it there. Straighten out the spine. Shoulders over hips. Little pulse with the back knee hovering. Shoulders nice and strong. Lift. If you can get those, those fingers right over the shoulders, we're going to do it right there. Breathe here. Pop the front heel up. Continue to pulse. Fight this out. It gets very challenging. Eight, seven, six, five. Tuck the belly in. Three, two, one. Land softly and then take your hamstring stretch. Breathe, flex the front foot. Shimmy the hips a little bit from side to side. Swivel that left hip back, right hip forward. Nice flat back, even if you need to bend the knee and gently work it straighter. All right, I'm gonna take the left foot, step the right foot wide. So you're gonna end up in a little low yogi squat or a little prayer squat. We're gonna pry the knees out with our elbows, palms to heart center. Take a moment here. Feel your heart rate beating. <laughs> Mine's beating fast. Take a breath and flush it out. All right. Shoot those arms forward. If you want this little Kali Mudra grip, you're going to find, release the index fingers. And we're going to try to pop up onto your tippy toes and then heels. So just see what kind of range of motion you can get. This might not work for everybody, depending on your ankle mobility, your hip flexors. Just see what's there. Up, down up and down. All right, we're gonna shift onto one foot. Can you swing that other foot in front? Maybe it hovers harder or just bring that heel down. Squeeze. All right, step back, shift your weight. Can we slip that foot forward into a hovering pistol squat, low single leg, low squat, hold, or that heel's hanging down, that's okay too. Let's do one more on each side. Squeeze it. Anyone want to try to lift? I don't know if I want to, but I'll try it. You could try to lift and lower. Come back down, switch sides last time. Hold it there. Or try and go up and down. Oh, falling and down. And then we'll come into or low squat. All right, we're gonna shift onto our booty. So see if you can round the spine, engage the core, drop the hips down. If that doesn't work for you, just simply put your hands down. We're gonna try to keep the heels tucked in as tight as we can, and then work the knees down into this like 90-90 kind of a mini pigeon shape. See if you can work through the sit bones. <sighs> Lowering and then lift. Other way, squeeze. Drop. Yeah, arms can be wherever you want them to be. You can stay really strong and active. Breath in, lift, and then rotate. Let's try that again. Inhale, core, hip flexors, rotate. Nice. All right, so we're gonna try something. 
and hopefully you have a padded mat so it's comfortable under your knees. We're gonna rotate to the other side and then we're gonna try to lift up. Did that work for you? Lift up, belly pulls in, lift up, lower down. Try that one more time if that works for you. Lift and lower, pop that leg. That's an internal rotation out and then just see if you have range of motion here. Lateral movement. Inhale, exhale, feel those obliques, feel the abductors, hold it here. Tap the knee, tap the toe, oh yeah. Knee, toe, knee, pull the belly in, do you hate me yet? Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, release. All right, other side, same thing. You can take a little neck roll, kind of come out of neutral, and you shake shimmies, <laughs> breathe. Reset, swing to the other side. All right, so set yourself up so that we can try to lift and lower. So we're gonna send the hips forward, squeeze the belly in, stand or kneel, and lower one more time. Lift it up, lower it down. Lateral movement, can we lift that leg that's in this internal rotation, this one's an external rotation, and then try lateral movement, swinging the knees to meet, swinging the knees apart. Inhale, exhale. So it's quite hard to keep that leg lifted. It takes a lot of that abductor outer thigh strength. In, squeeze it out, you feel your obliques, all in here. Inhale, hold it here, knee, toe, Knees, toes, knee, toes, how about two, squeeze, one, squeeze, and in, open up. Actually, let's do turtle shell first. Knees in, grab your opposite ankle, take a big breath into the back, and close your shell. Big breath into the back, sigh it out. Hope you're doing well. All right. We're gonna take a gentle little straddle, whatever that is in your body, kind of rock and sway and settle into those hips, those inner thighs, those hamstrings, and then just take a couple breaths of wherever your range of flexibility and movement is. You might not be able to touch the floor, that's completely fine. Wherever you are, just try to fold a little bit and lift. You can also start to use the core to lower and lift. Stretch the arms out, let's try lowering as to your depth and then using the core to pry back. So we're gonna add a little twist of the shoulders. We're gonna pull the palms up like you're serving a tray and then upright. Inhale, stretch the heart and gaze forward. Exhale, zip it up. Inhale, exhale, inhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Bring the hands behind the ears. So see what kind of range of motion. Can you easily bring the arms behind, keeping the heart open, the shoulders really nice and flexible, lubricating the shoulder joint. Hold it here. So if this is just really uncomfortable and you're kind of slouched over, try bending the knees. Or we want to keep a straight spine. You could also narrow, uh, make your, your stance a little narrower. Wherever you need to be, we're gonna side bend. Drop it down, zip it up. Drop it down, zip it up, zip it up. See if you can go a little deeper to the point where maybe that elbow could tap the floor. We're never forcing our bodies into positions, right? We're finding our edges and we're breathing there. Use the power of your breath to come out of that hard part. Zip it up. Inhale, exhale, sit bones grounding. Inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale, exhale. Arms stretch, try to twist to, again, your depth, pulling the arms in opposition to help ring out your center, and then switch. Find that edge and then start to pull in opposition, exhale. Two more, pull, make it hard. Twist and center. All right, arms are probably getting tired. You feel those shoulders, give them a little circle. I'm gonna go into more traditional sauce. So we're gonna twist, find your depth, and then lift and rotate across. Reach to your toes, maybe your knee, maybe way beyond, and then lift and spiral. So we twist, we extend, we lift, twist. 
inhale, zip it up, twist it around, reach for it. See if you can keep those toes pointed up. So we're kind of trying to externally rotate the legs as opposed to allowing them to crash forward. Last set, lift and lower and twist, lift and up. All right, so we've done a lot of sneaky arm work and we're gonna do one quick little series to continue with that. And then we'll do a lot of Pilates mat work on our backs. So to start to really engage the core, I'm gonna sit up nice and tall and then slide those arms up. Like you have this lat pull down machine, we're gonna pretend we're doing this underwater and we're gonna lean back, maybe 45 degrees, maybe a little less, pull the belly in. Stretch, pull with tension, lean back, shine the heart up, the feet might be light. And up, exhale, and lift, and pry back, and squeeze it up, pry it back. One more time. Maybe you even start to touch the belly on the thighs and then pry, heart opens. All right, so the knees are glued together, yes? Pull the belly in. Now elbows are gonna come out shoulder height. They're gonna wanna sag, keep them up there. Chest press, yes? And open, lean back. Find your edges, challenge yourself. None of this should feel easy. Exhale, and you can take breaks when you need to. I can't even see you. <laughs> Exhale, and lift and zip it up and lift up those elbow shoulder height and lift maybe i can see you exhale and lift and exhale hold it back okay the elbows are gonna kiss the forearms press together and we're gonna pulse this out can you keep the forearms pressing into each other triceps biceps deltoids pull the belly in if you want a little bit deeper, pull those feet up. You can even try to tap your elbows to your knees. Little pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. How you doing? And release. Take a moment there. Breathe into the back body. Maybe just kind of wiggle the hips. Find some release through the hip flexors. Flap the knees. All right. We're going to take it onto our backs and we'll get there nice and slowly. Grab on behind the legs, lift up tall, start to round the spine like you're doing a cat back, and then find your way down your mat. All right, walk the feet in. Let's find our neutral spine by pressing the low back into the mat, taking a little pelvic tilt. Feel your ribs and hips come close, and then reverse that. Tilt the hips back. Feel the space between your hips and ribs open, and your low back will pop right off the mat. Exhale, zip it up, squeeze. Inhale, arch. Exhale, zip. The tailbone just tucks. We're not lifting our butt. We're pressing the low back down. Can you see? And then inhale, arch. Exhale, pull the belly in. Make it work. Inhale, arch. Exhale, zip. Now into your neutral in between those points. Hips and ribs on one plane, drawing towards one another, but not tucked anymore. We're in that neutral position. That's where you want your back to be. So we're gonna find ourselves right here. Our feet are about four with a four, inches apart and pretty close into your body, maybe a few inches away. Can you reach for your heels? See if you can make your arms so long you can find your heels there. Nice. We're gonna start by dropping the shoulders, take an inhale. Exhale, tuck the chin forward. Look at your own belly button. And then maybe you lift off the whole shoulder blades off the mat. Good. Stretching the fingers long, relax the neck, the core takes the work. When we roll down, we're gonna take this tabletop. So press the sacrum down, it's the small of the back. Pushes down so fiercely that we can float those legs up. Bring the feet down, exhale, tuck the chin, lift the upper body up. Try to get the scapula, the shoulder blades off the mat, shake the head, breathe. And lower down, slowly push into the mat with the sacrum, lift up. Good, take a moment to hold here. Now we're gonna tuck the chin and peel it up. We're gonna open the knees, little adductor, inner thighs, 
open, close. The feet stay connected. We're in a C curve. Hold up with the upper body. Open and close the knees. So my feet are touching, but my knees are opening and closing. It's hard to see. Eight, seven, six, five. Can you come up a little higher for three? Here's two. Exhale in one. Lower back. Down. Keep the knees where they are. Stretch the arms out to the side. We'll take the knees over and then exhale, pull back. Press the low back into the mat. Drop the knees to the other side. Exhale, squeeze nice and slowly. Let knee drops. Take it over. Shoulders press down. Palms press down. Make a T with those hands and really use everything to press against the earth. So we're working against gravity, let the legs fall heavy, and then zip back up. Let's do this in layers. Next layer, we'll tuck, and we'll sweep straight legs. Gets a lot harder, so be mindful. If this bothers your low back, keep the modification. Sweep and squeeze to the top. Strong, active legs. My quads are on now. My hamstrings are finding space. Tuck, extend, and squeeze up. Tuck, knees out from the hips, sweep and lift. If you're ready for that last layer, we'll keep the legs nice and long and we'll twist. You could even try to pull the feet to stack and then lift. So that's even a little bit more challenging than letting that bottom leg kind of shoot out longer. Try to stack and then lift. Try to keep the shoulders down though. Press down, stack. Reach over, pull up one more time. Stack everything. Reach long, squeeze up. All right, let's just take a little straddle and then zip to the top and we'll criss cross straddle. <laughs> straddle. Criss cross straddle. Point those toes, feet over hips. Exhale, exhale, open. Exhale, exhale, open. So if this feels a little easy, let's try this. In a C curve, lift, shoulders off the mat, crisscross straddle. See if you can alternate the foot that goes forward. Crisscross straddle, crisscross straddle. Two more. And open. And open. Reach through the middle. Again, that Kali Mudra bind if you'd like. Pointing and stretching the legs apart for eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, little exhale, each one, two, one. Pull the knees into the chest. Take a moment there. You can give yourself a nice squeeze, little massage on the spine, making little circles or rocks, whatever feels good for you. Let's take the feet wide and let the knees kind of cave in, releasing through the hip flexors, and maybe you even give them a little massage with your thumbs. My hip flexors have been really sore from a workout I did last week. Take an inhale and an exhale. Nice. All right, we're gonna tuck the chin forward, pull those feet back to 90. So we're gonna take frog legs this time. We're gonna try to touch our knees to our shoulders and then flex and press away. Point, knees tap, shoulders, plug the belly in. Heels, we push as low as you can safely go. You might be up higher, 45 degrees. You might be able to hover right above the mat. It gets hard. Inhale, try and touch your shoulders. Exhale, heels in a first position foot, right? Sacrum presses down. Exhale, little low boat action. Frog, three, point, touch shoulders. Flex first position one more time. And press it out and drop it down. Ooh, those were hard. Stretch the arms over the head, come out of neutral, give your body a little wiggle. Inhale and exhale. All right, we're gonna make this a little bit easy, but we'll, I'll give you some options. So, we're gonna take our neutral spine, right? Ribs in, active core, stretch the hands down and stretch one leg up. So this is a little bit easier with a bent foot, bent knee. If you have more range of motion, we could try to make an L shape. So I'm gonna start you here and then I'll give you the option to extend. And what we wanna do is find this, new, this um, st stability of the pelvis. You're gonna squeeze everything to the midline, working on the pelvic floor and the whole center. 
So we're circling the leg, which seems easy, but we're not allowing our hips to go for the ride. So you could just put your hands on your hips and see if they're truly stable, right? Circle, and the circle is your range of flexibility. Ooh, there's a bug. Stretch the leg out, gets harder. Circle the leg, don't let the body tilt. Good. Sweet. Stabilize that whole pelvis, and then reverse the circle. Three, you can put your hands down by your sides. Here's two, squeeze it up. Here's one, squeeze it up. Now tuck the chin and find your L. Press the low back into the mat. Hold it here. Pull the legs as far as you can apart, and then go ahead and grab it and assist the stretch. A little more passive, and then we're gonna switch these out. Straight leg switch. Go to your flexibility. Low back presses down every time we exhale. Here's four and three and two and one. Pull the other leg in opposition. Make your L shape stretch. Fight for it. Bend the right knee. Lower down the head. You can shake out that neck. Starting with the left side. So stable pelvis. Pull everything in. You can even make sure by just putting your fingertips into your hip bones and not allowing them to move. Start with circling your depth. So if it's a smaller circle, that's okay. If you have more range of motion and you can keep the hips from rocking or teetering, do that. Good. Practice here. And then we'll try to do it with a longer bottom leg. So this one takes more flexibility and more strength because you can't push that foot as well into the mat, right? Squeeze the quad down, heel down, and then start to circle. Hand can come by your side. Good. Or if you're not sure if you're rocking, just gently press into the hip bones and then we'll reverse this. Let's do four. Three. Squeeze. Pull the ribs and belly down. Two. And one. How did we do? Good. Release that. Give your feet a little shake. Relax through those hip flexors. Bend. Kick. Breathe. Walk those feet in. All right. We're going to dig the heels down and squeeze the inner thighs and knees together. So our bridge is going to be with our uh, legs glued shut. Heels, pelvic tilt, press up, lower down like a string of pearls. I want the space between the vertebrae to land, land, land. All right, now tippy toes. Hug the heels in a little closer. Peel off the spine. Squeeze the legs against each other. Lift the hips, hamstrings on, belly and ribs plugging down. Roll down like a string of pearls. As slow as you can, you'll feel the hamstrings there. Heels, pelvic tilt. Peel off the vertebrae. Squeeze those inner thighs. Press the shoulders and back of the head down. Lift, lower down. Slowly, how are you feeling? Tippy toes. Peel up, inhale, squeeze everything up. Knees towards one another, inner thighs. Should be feeling this, little space between your chin and chest. Roll down like a string of pearls. Oh my, flat feet. You're um, still gonna keep your knees together. All right, we're gonna take right leg out, and we're gonna keep our knees together, pressing like you have a $100 bill in between your knees. Tuck the pelvis forward, and then can we lift here? Pulse, 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 woo! Four, three, two, one. Are those knees still connected? Lower down, switch. Feeling my hamstrings, knees connect. Look down, and then we'll go. Tuck the pelvis forward, peel off the vertebrae. Start to pulse, pulse. Plug the belly in, squeeze the booty up for four, three, two, anyone hamstring burn? <laughs> Roll down. Let's take happy baby. Hug those knees in, 
and then maybe work out to a straddle. Inhale, exhale. I'm gonna let you stretch a little bit. I see someone writing to me. I'm gonna check on you guys. How we doing? Anyone wanna give me a, a little thumbs up, a little heart? Tell me how you're doing, if you're doing it with me. All right, so let's go ahead and work into obliques crisscross, and we're gonna do a little something I call floppy fish. So, back arms to your back, if you left, if you need water, that was a good time to take it. And we're gonna take our hands behind our head, knees to table, press the low back down. Lift, crisscross, exhale each one, rotate, rotate, rotate. Twist like you're wringing out the belly, trying to get your ribs to opposite shoulder for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay here. So I'm liking the spine today. We're going to take it again, Kali Mudra Bind, and see if you can really pull the tricep across the thigh, right? Can we straighten? <sighs> Bend, lift, and lower one more time. Lift. And lower, all right. We're gonna take the legs together, low, and then you can use this bottom arm to pull you into a stacked hip position. Look down, are you truly stacked? All right, so here's where it's gonna get very hard. We're gonna try, I'm gonna be losing it too, to lift your bottom arm, maybe even connect, and see how floppy you get. Can you save it, hold on for three, Two, one, and let it go. Roll back. All right, massage into that low back. Take a moment, we'll do the other side. So my back's gonna be to you, so hopefully you can still hear me. We'll take our crisscross, lift and twist. Each one's an exhale, plugging that belly down for four, three, oh, two, one more. Hold it here. All right, those Kali Mudra fingers, index finger releases. See if you can swing your tricep across the leg. It's okay if it doesn't work. And we'll try to straighten for three. Hug it in. Two, pull those knees of legs apart. One, hold it. All right, we're going to try to push both legs out. And then roll. Bottom hand can control this. And stack. Look down. You want to be stacked, not rolling off the back, okay? So stack and lift. And then floppy fish. See if you can hold your body into this straight line with your arms and legs lifting off the mat for three, two, one. Release. Come on back. Again, anything you need to do in between this really hard work, roll it out. And let's go ahead and change gears. So we're going to start to... Actually, we're going to do a little plow roll. We'll do a couple teasers and rolling like a ball, and then we'll switch gears. So let's lift here. And you have some options. We can start by just lifting and lowering. Lifting and lowering. So we'll start a little bit easier, pulling the hips off the mat if you can, a little reverse curl action, and then lower down to the place where you can Safely engage the core. It doesn't bother the back. The low back's pressing down. All right, so here's your option. Can we try to lift the hips up without just jumping them? Press the hands down. Peel the hips off. And then see if you can press into the hands. So you might come into a hover. Try not to move the neck around once the feet go over the head. So I'm doing this, but try not to do that. Look forward. Can you touch the feet behind you? It's totally fine. If that doesn't feel safe, don't do it. We have some options if you made it. You could also support the back. See if you can lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. We're going to press the palms down. We're going to straddle. Straddle and lower down with all the control you have. Legs sweep together. Other way. Straddle. Press into the hands. The triceps have to work. The shoulders have to work. And then maybe you're here hovering or we can touch behind. All right, take a moment. You could support the back. We could try to lift, lower, lift, lower, and then straddle down, down, down. Hit your low, 
a low leg, maybe a low boat. So maybe you lift the upper body here. All right, last one. Press, peel, hold your position. Feet can touch, feet can hover. If you feel really strong here, you could try to lift both legs at the same time. It's fine if you don't get straight. Find your edge, lift, and then straddle. Lower down. When you hit your low leg position, peel the shoulders off the mat for three, for two, for one. If you're still with me, rock it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Gather momentum, roll like a ball, balance. Round the spine, tuck the chin in, plug the belly in, roll, balance. So we don't want the feet to slam down, right? We want to try and control that. Arms can be anywhere. You can hold under, over, no hands. Inhale, exhale. Half boat, or let's try to go straight, full boat. Inhale, exhale, and extend, or extend the whole time. There's so many options here. This one gets quite challenging with straight legs and arms. Pull the belly in, round the spine, momentum, lift. So this one we do use momentum and then we stop the momentum by engaging the core. All right, flex those feet down. Let's take a forward fold. All right, so wherever you are in this fold, just allow your spine to release and the hamstrings to get a nice stretch. And you might be up here and circle the neck around a little bit. Take a moment and lift up to straight spine. We're gonna add a little bit of side plank action and then we'll do some down dog work. All right, which is gonna be similar to something you would do on a Wanda chair. All right, inhale, lift up straight. We're going to pull the arms in opposition, pry them apart. Place the palm down. All right, so we're going to take this top leg, cross it over, and then swing the hips up. You got that? Lower the hips down. Swing up. Do the best you can to arc the body. Push the shoulder down with energy and squeeze. Let's try that one more time. <sighs> squeeze it up. Hold it here. Pull the belly in. Squeeze even the glutes and inner thighs, and then lower down. Legs widen, open, and then we zip back up. All right, other way. So get up to your sit bones, if, rock if you need to, to get off the flesh, and then sweep it apart. Pull the arms in opposition, plug the belly in. We'll cross that outside leg towards the, the direction you're going. So stack, cross over. Lean back and then lift, press the shoulder down, squeeze everything, lower down. Good, take a moment and push, zip up, and then lower down, inhale. Exhale as you press, arc, hold, push, 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 and then lower down slowly, all the control you can muster, uncross the legs, lift and pull it back. All right, we're gonna add a little lunge to this. Sweep it up. Let's take a gentle forward fold using your core first. Inhale, exhale, inhale, cross, lift. All right, this top leg is going to squeeze into the chest. You could assist your leg or you could try to do this without. Stepping the right foot towards your hand, the top leg towards your bottom hand. I don't know if you're doing the same leg as me. See if you can step there. Do we make it? Inhale, twist. Reach under the leg. Twist. Swing it under. Twist it. And swing it under. All right. Can we go back? Pull that foot up. Swing it back and have your seat. Circle out that wrist if you need to. Come back to center. So reset yourself if you need to. Shake, shimmy, breathe. Inhale, we'll stretch it forward. Use the core to lift up. 
sweep into your twist. Bring that leg up and over, hand down, hips up. All right, bottom foot really presses down, top knee hugs in. Assist the leg if you're struggling. If you can do it without hands helping you, as long as you can. Land, twist, thread under. Inhale, feel the hip flexor, get a nice stretch on that back leg. Inhale, exhale, coming back out. Press firmly into that supporting shoulder. Lift the leg, thread it back, have your seat slowly circle out that wrist, come back. Nice job. All right. Take a moment. We can press the back of the hands down, kind of counter stretch the wrists. And we're going to take a half fold. Put your fingertips down. This is going to be hard. We'll just see what happens. We'll try hard things and see if it's there. Straighten out the arms, push the shoulders like you're trying to puff up through the back of the heart, all right? So we're gonna push, and we're gonna try to lift the legs. You know what's coming, right? Both legs. All right, so if that was hard, do that again. If we think we can get both feet to lift, fingertips in front of the knees, or maybe at the knees, not back here, there's no space. Lean forward, push down, see if you can lift the legs. Huh. Oh, yeah, that hurts. Inhale up, exhale, release. All right, we're going to open this up to a reverse plank or a reverse tabletop. Let's try tabletop first. That one's easier. Press the fingertips forward, elbows back. Walk the feet in about hip width apart. We're going to shine the heart and hips up. Push the shoulders back. Good. So the shoulders go down and everything else lifts up. Nice. Let's bend the elbows. Hover. Press up. Hover. <sighs> Zip. Hover. And lift. How about four? Tricep dips. Right? You're bending and straightening the elbows. Here's your three. <sighs> Here's your two. <sighs> Here's your one. All right. We're going to hover the elbows. Bend the elbows, hover the butt, and then walk the feet out. Are you still hovering? Hover, 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 and then try to take reverse plank. Lift the hips. Hover. Bend the elbows. Oh, exhale. One more time. Hover. Zip. And land. Flip the palms upside down. Counter stretch those wrists. Rock a little bit of weight on it, whatever you feel is safe. Circle out. We can take a little tricep stretch here. One elbow back. Reach down. Walk your hand down the back. And switch. Tricep pressing gently above the elbow. Walk the hand down. Take a big breath. And sigh. All right. This one's extra credit. We're going to just try to lift the butt off the mat. So we're going to lean forward again. This time see if you can put palms Fingers in line with your knees. So it'll be half an L, or if you're like super strong, maybe the feet float up too. Lean, push down with all your energy and effort. See if you can lift the butt and lower. Did we get up? Lean, lift, lower. All right, so if you're not able to lift, it's fine because that's where you, you are and you're getting the work out of trying, right? The effort is the work for you. So it's completely fine if you're not lifting, but you're here and you're trying. <laughs> Lift, one day you'll float. Maybe we try to hold out. And lower. Flip those wrists over. All right, let's take a child's pose. Swing the legs behind. And maybe your quads are cramping up right here. We'll just round the spine here, find some length, cat the back, and fold over. Again, I'm going to leave you here for a couple breaths and just see how you're doing. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> Round the spine. Take a moment to breathe into the back body. Nice. 
round up the spine. And again, get this nice little quad stretch action. We're gonna stretch the arms out and pelvic tilt. All right, so this can be done really easily, like you're cheating, or we can make this very challenging. We're gonna try to pelvic tilt the hips and hover and sit. So it's not here, it's a huge pelvic tilt and we're gonna pull into this little hovering bounce for four, three, two, one, release. Can we take the pelvic tilt all the way to the top of the knees? Let's try that. Stretch the arms out, shift the pelvis forward, round the spine, reach the shoulders forward, and try oh, to lift. So it's not that, that's nothing. We're trying to squeeze up using our quads, our core, a little hip flexor, good lift. So when we come down, let's just stick the booty out and have a seat. So that's what we're not gonna do on the way up. Shift the pelvis forward, plug the navel towards the spine, reach the shoulders forward, slip up, it's really hard. Lift, have the booty back, and then we're gonna hover again. So let's take our hands to our hips and try this little hover, shift, Pulse right here, and take the arms back out. Pulse, and then we're gonna do this little shifting hip. So hit, hit. But you're hovering over your heels, so it's very difficult on those quads. Four, three, two, hover, but tap down. One, oh my, roll it down. Take your child's pose, take a moment there. Let's take our arms out. And make sure you have enough space. So we'll do those charging knee, chest, chin push-ups. I think we did these last week. Take the nose to the mat or the forehead down, gaze forward, and then bring the elbows to the ribs. Plug the belly in and push it back. If you're feeling pretty strong, we've done a lot, you might be able to come into a low push-up or low plank. Charge the elbows to the ribs, gaze forward, heart forward, tuck the toes, see if you can hold this position. Remember we did those shifting hips? See if you can twist those hips. Four, three, two, one. Knees. Whoo! Press it back. All right, it's okay if you couldn't do that. We'll work towards it. Snake. We're gonna try to pull the elbows into a hover, and then we're gonna slither each body part into our low um, cobra. So, elbows hover, internally rotate, elbows in, slither, Nose, neck, chest, belly. Hold your low cobra. Breathe here. Use the back muscles. Float the arms up. We breathing? It's hard to breathe here. All right, press the hands down. Can we snake back? All right, so we're gonna lift the hips, slither each part back. Can we try that one more time? Circle out those wrists a little bit. Take a deep breath in. Look forward, elbows um, down. So the crease of the elbows internally rotate. Take them towards each other. Bend, slide each part of the body through. Land, fingertips, float. Legs, hold, breathe, squeeze. Arms up. We're gonna try to rock this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. Snake back. Lift the hips. Slither down and back. Rest here for a couple breaths. Good chance to get a sip of water if you need it. And then we're gonna meet in downward facing dog. All right, get water. Are you sweating? Towel off. All right, we're almost done. Let's take downward facing dog. Spread the fingers wide. Chest to toes, head hangs heavy. Pedal through the feet. One, two, three, and four. Settle through the heels. Let's hover your table. Bounce four, bounce three, bounce two, and twist. Knees float to one side, hover, float to the 
the other side, hover. Knees and toes touch, swivel and swivel. A little bit more advanced, swivel, kick through. Did we make that? The bottom leg threads under, the hand lifts, hover, swivel, thread. It looks trickier than it is. So we just twist and thread and lift. Come back, thread and lift. All right, downward facing dog, zip it up. We're gonna cross right foot under left. So our legs, our ankles are crossed and we're gonna come high onto the toes. Walk your hands a little wider and we're gonna try to lower the hips and twist. You're gonna feel this really firmly in the obliques. Twist the hips and then push it back. Three more, lower as you twist. Squeeze everything, magnetize those outer thighs, inner thighs, and twist. Push the shoulders down, rotate the hips and back. Oh, you feel your obliques? One more time, twist. Lower, push the shoulders down, bring those knees towards me. Switch, cross, come high on the toes. As you lower, we swivel, press the shoulders down, and back, two, three more. High on the toes, lower and swivel, hold on to it, and two more. Press into the fingertips so the wrists aren't taking all the weight. Shoulders are active, body is super strong. Last one. Hold, 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 and unwind. Nice job. Take those knees down. Let's counter stretch the wrists. You can even take fists and try to just pull the knees up. Push the fists down, push the fists down. Nice work. Flip those palms and breathe. I think we are out of time. I don't even, I'm not quite sure. For some reason when you're doing these lives, they don't tell you the time. So let's do a final little stretch similar to what we did in the beginning. Um, we're gonna have a seat and straddle, all right? So this time we'll take the arms long and we'll just reach beyond the toes and then retract. Two more, reach me on the toes, exhale, side body, oblique still, reach and back. Now the arm goes with you, lift, hover, pull, inhale, push the sit bones down, exhale, inhale, and exhale, both arms, we'll take it over, now pull that weight back, lift, bring it over, squeeze it back, one more time, bring it over, Squeeze it back. Bring your forearm to the mat. Swing your legs back. All right, I like, we're gonna do one more thing. Push the shoulder down, stack those feet, and try to lift the hips. Forearm side plank, you could stay here. We could lift that bottom leg. You're gonna start shaking. Circle three, two, one, reverse. Three, two, one, hold it. Squeeze everything, belly and quad, shoulder. Have your seat. Come back through your straddle. Ah, circle out that shoulder. Breathe the neck. All right, so other way this time, okay? Stretch the arms long. Reach beyond the toes. Zip back up. Beyond the toes. Zip up. Reach and stretch and then retract. Bring your arm with you, adding a little more weight. Okay, reach it over, squeeze it back one more time. Over and back. Now we have both arms up, reach it over, exhale, pull back. A lot more weight to lift here. Squeeze up through the side body one more time. Bring it over, zip it up. Push that forearm down, swing your legs around. So get there, you can use your top hand, doesn't have to be graceful. Push that shoulder down, stack your feet, or if you need to make it easier, one foot in front of the other. Start to push the shoulder down, lift the hips. Arm can lift, it can stay down. Breathe here. 
If you can, we'll abduct this top leg, point flex, circle three, two, one, reverse, three, two, one, hold and hover, all your energy here. You did awesome. Take a moment and then forearm plank, find your hands, squeeze here for four, three, two, and one. Swing those hips down, shine the heart through. Now grip onto your mat and pull backwards. One more back body hold, sweep the arms back, lift the legs, eight pulses, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Toes down, push the shoulders plank. <sighs> Knees, cat cow, inhale, exhale, pull the mat backwards, push the mat forward. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, be proud of yourself. This was tough, tuck those toes, I'm always hard. I apologize in advance, not really. Bring it down to downward facing dog. As always, just do what you can. Inhale, lifts into your body. I will be here next week. Exhale, thanks for joining. Let's walk the feet in, plugging the hip up, up, hang out, shake the head. No, yes, that was awesome. Circle the wrists, shake, shimmy, let your neck kind of just dangle and then soften the knees and ragdoll, you can bounce a little bit and lift. All right, let's take our classic bow. I love to do this one. We'll take the arms out, point, let's curtsy, lift and flush. Other way, open, close. Feels really good on the spine when you just release and let it go. Thank you so much.